stolen. Absolutely robbed. And they eviscerated them. I mean, a breakdown of round for New York. Clay can't get a kill to save his life at this point. Neptune's done. That could be the dagger. Hydra drops. We're running out of players for NYSL here. This team has so much promise, man, but they just can't seem to get it together. They've been wiped out. Oh, no, come on, come on. Oh, fuck, yeah. bro. Fuck, bro. The door is open. Bro, I'm losing full, bro. It's Clay versus Fred. It's Nemesis! Oh, he gets it again! When you fall this short... Perfect wipe, NYSL. Try, try again. It's only natural that questions start to fly. I feel like I'm playing at mock speed because nobody's winning fucking gunfights where they should win them. What's gone so wrong? We need fucking momentum right now. Who's to blame? Right now, New York, they might end up in the blender. And what the fuck can we do to fix it? Royalty does all he can! But it will not oh, be a win for the oh, subliners. A new team, a new roster that's still trying to figure things out. They show some promise. In COD, as in life, there is no simple answer. The only certainty is the inevitable nature of change. Two days, new player, 80 ping. Feel like I'm at the tippy top of my game, looking down at the rafters. I had to sun these boys, can't leave them bastards. A lot of dudes, just some undercover actress. I don't fall for it, I'm privy to all your tactics. Come on now. Alright, Ben. Yep, Envoy's dead. Sounds good. Appreciate it, man. A loss to the man. LA Thieves right. dropped New York's record to 0 3. But you can't blame the star on a lack of preparation. The subliners have built up one of the strongest coaching staffs in the league. The three man staff is made up of the beautiful mind of Bobble the Billy Bean of Cod J.P. Krez, and newcomer d -Rio. You believe you can be the best in the league, you hear me? Yeah? Play relaxed, play loose, brother. No pressure. Whose role was recently elevated to help turn this ship around. I go by d -Rio, and I am the head coach for the New York Subliners for the 2022 season. Oh, I'm sorry, baby, I don't mean to be rude. Yeah, yeah. I'm just no one knows how important it is to turn things around more than jobbing. When your job is on the line, the choice between success and a one-way ticket back to Manchester isn't a choice at all. I didn't think I'd be head coach this soon, but I'm grateful for the opportunity and I'm grateful to show the scene and the community what I can bring to the table. We need to get together and we need to establish our goals and our systems for this season. I can give them the tools and I can give them everything they need. I can hold them to the highest standard. Let's be real, I'm not gonna teach them anything that they don't know. Javid's road to coaching in the CDL was far from normal. After a mostly unsuccessful foray into the professional COD scene, he found himself searching for what was next. After failing in COD, I wasn't in a good place mentally, I wasn't in a good place physically. I was 125 kgs, I was in a horrible place mentally. Boxing, for me, helped me develop my self-confidence, it helped me become more assured of myself. I made the decision, you know what, I'm not going to become a pro. So I'm going to go back to university, I'm going to go back to medical school and I'm going to finish my degree. Um, I ended up graduating with a first class honours in biomedical sciences with a specialisation in cancer research. But life has, you know, crazy ways of changing. That hunger to help people and to change their path led me on to coaching. Coaching isn't something that I'm forced to do. Coaching isn't, you know, something that I'm trying to do to stay relevant. I genuinely enjoy coaching. Coaching is my calling. A new approach may be just what the doctor ordered. First up is deciding who will actually be carrying out this new path forward. Neptune's a young player. Um, he's got a hell of a career ahead of him. But at this moment in time, you know, myself and the team decided that he needs time to develop. He needs time to mentally reset. But don't, don't, don't get me wrong, you know, he'll come back, he'll come back frying. We've got two of the greatest of all time on this roster. Um, so we needed someone who can deal with the pressure of Clay and Krim, someone who's been around for years, someone who's dependable, and so that's why we're bringing in royalty. Now introducing the legend of Lake Superior, the Sultan of the Subliners, Mateo Royalty Faithful! I was surprised. It was just completely out of the blue. I was living in Toronto with my girl in my apartment. I was competing in challengers with my team and then get a message from Clayster. Then immediately, 10 minutes later, get a message from Crim6. And then at that point, it's like, okay, this seems, this, this is pretty serious. You know what I mean? Within a snap of a finger, I'm um, up and packing and moving to Texas to play with the, some of the greatest Call of Duty players ever. So it was definitely crazy. A lot of, uh, a lot of stuff to be done, but uh, I'm out here and uh, I'm ready to play now. 
Royalty has been playing competitively since 2014. He was standing on the main stage of champs as recently as 2019. But once franchising in the CDL came along, he was left without a team. So it was off to challenges, where he took the amateur crown in 2020 and continued to fry last year, just hoping and waiting for his chance. When I was in challenges, I had some doubts about myself getting back in the league at first, sitting in my bedroom for two years, playing against people uh, you know, I've never even met before. I definitely had my doubts, but uh, I just knew what I was capable of. I feel like I should never have been even in challengers over the last two years. I'm proud of myself for making it out, but this job is not finished. And like, it, you know, the job hasn't even started. Now that I'm here, it's like now I'm doing what I should be doing, and, uh, and I'm here to stay. No, no, what? that flip was fine, bro. They, I flipped, they spawned in the back at 25. Well, attention is definitely still there. I mean, at the end of the day, it's not like the record's, you know, a clean slate or, or anything like that. Like, when I joined the team, they were still 0-2. They still had their struggles. Even when I was scrimming with them, we still had our struggles. But at the end of the day, like, Clay and Krim, like, they know how to win. And obviously, they're very emotional, you know, emotional players, and, you know, they can get mad. Just hold the fucking heady, man. I'm fucking rotating by myself. We're losing rotation. Like people are going staggered, man. So with myself, like you know, I'm pretty tolerable when it comes to like you know dishing and, and receiving criticisms. Nah, bro. I actually I was so caught off guard because I thought he was just gonna he was top fire, so I thought he was gonna wrap maps. So I was, gonna, I was playing like in my head, I was like, okay, I'm just gonna flank fucking maps and just shoot him in his ass. You know everything they say to me. You know what I mean? It's just to make you better. So that's just the way you gotta look at it, and you gotta just keep kind of pressing forward and doing your thing. We know what the fuck we're doing. So just literally just focus on winning gunfights this whole entire series. Simple as that, bro. Going winless through the first three games is a hard pill to swallow. But dropping game four versus your uh, rival would be a catastrophe. For royalty, his first game playing with the boys in person meant a whole lot more. Just get fucking loose, oh, yeah, brother. Yeah, 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 seriously. Bring dude. the energy, boys. Let's go. Fucking Let's go. These guys, bro. Let's go. Let's go, baby. Hey. I'm the team I Calling Hardpoint the subliner's Achilles heel is offensive to both heels and Achilles. Luckily, it's best of five. We had such a good fucking start, dude. All good, all good. Let's yeah. on this next one. Yeah. Uh, what's next one? Off the bomb, but he can't see him. As he comes around the corner, finally spots Cap and he'll back away. One flank get around. TJ doing everything he can to try to clear out the lanes. He falls as well, oh, and the subliners will hang on game. in the search and destroy. Fucking go, man. Fucking out of here. Shit. Come on. You're the fucking, fucking best. Dumb. You're the fucking best. Dude, I'm so yeah. mad in clutch. I want to be two. Yeah, he's so perfect. He played it bro. perfectly, and he had one HP, bro. Fucker, okay, uh, he went down a lot. I should have killed him, to be honest. He was in the corner. All that stood between New York and their first victory was a map five. Oh boy, folks! In this game five, a huge matchup in regards to CD. New York trying to stay alive. Boston trying to secure their spot, and it looks like Clay is praying. Yeah, Clay's praying, man. He's just trying to get his first win underneath this belt. <laughs> We're doing the right shit, man. Yeah. Recognize flips immediately, man. Let's stay in the sauce here. Come on. Yeah. I like that. Stay in the sauce. Uh, yeah. Hold the marinara. Doing a great job in a series where they need him most. Oh, now five in a row. Did he? Did he? One shot. Did he? Did he? One shot. Where? 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 where, 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 where that? Fuck, Fuck, you are frying, bro. Talk about a tense moment right now for Boston. Cap gets red. Hydra, of course, takes him down. These two have met so many times. And Hydro, one of the most crucial of 1v1s, also shuts down Methods. A two versus three. Oh, oh, oh. That'll be three already for Hydra. Oh, oh my god! Did you see that? Oh my god! 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 Oh Big boss, big dick, holy, holy shit. shit. You were walking on them all maps. Oh Got 18? Oh, holy baby. fuck. Dude, so we are 07, and I saw this graph. We have the second most points Krim, about damn time we get you a win of these, man. You guys finally got the win yeah. this year. How good do you feel to finally get this done? It is like 
one uh, Hold on one sec. Yo, shut up! <laughs> I'm in an interview! That Paco screaming? God, man. No, talking about how bad we are in hard point. Like, <laughs> obviously, we haven't won a single one. <laughs> Don't laugh, Paco. So a lot of people are wondering why you guys picked up royalty instead of somebody from Challengers. Matt has literally always been good, and he's never had his shot, ever. And we knew that, hey, we're probably going to start in losers, right? So we want to get someone that is going to, like, show up to this land, right? In a do-or-die situation and play well. Yo, Crib, I'm going to leave up this last segment up to you, man. Teej, you are still my son. <laughs> I put you down. I brought you into this world, and I will take you out of it, on, uh, except on Hardpoint. We can't fucking do that, guys. Uh, but, uh, yeah. Hey, Crib, congrats on the big win. Hopefully you guys can get one more before I'm the Optic <laughs> Major. And uh, we'll see you next time, yeah. all right, man? Good luck, brother. All right. Thank you. A win, even just one, can do a lot for the psyche of a team. Momentum they hoped would carry over to their last qualifying match versus the league's Done. best team. So far, Atlanta Fays are number one in the CDL. They'll be facing off against the New York Subliners, a team that are looking to work their way up the rankings. But um, right now, they're looking to continue their win streak. Yo, let's fucking win this shit. I don't want, I don't want us to like. We know how to play, right? I don't want to hear any fucking strats or any crazy shit that we got to do before this match. That's the only thing we should be focusing on. Let's get it. This is gonna be a fun one. Just you and me now. In the grand scheme of things, it's just the qualifiers for stage one. I mean, we could technically go to stage one and make a run, and then nobody remembers these matches. They just set themselves up to win this game. To play COD is to live on the razor's edge. A fraction too slow, and you don't get the kill. A split second behind, and you don't get the defuse. All of the seemingly minor moments can cascade into a string of losses, organizational changes, and reassessments of how to find success. Let's play like how we know how to play. I wish we would do that. That's yeah. why I'm pissed. Listen to me, not a single word for the next 30 seconds. I don't give a fuck. Yeah. Yeah. Relax, not, not a single word. The good news, in a game of fractions, the boys are only a fraction away from standing back on their feet. And out of all four of the teams you could possibly play in the first round, I think we're probably the scariest right now. I think we could be the Cinderella story that, that makes the run through loser's bracket that shows why all 12 teams need to be at the majors. The better news, they still have a seat at the major, and majors are all that matter. And I'm just really excited to, to put in the practice this next week and a half and you know, leave it all out on the table when we get to the major.